Hello world good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to codingscientist.com the only platform where you are going to learn artificial intelligence robotics and coding in a single jetbot kit using nvidia's jetson nano 4 gb board all right guys so we are on lesson number 34 and i am going to get little bit more deeper into the road following the self driving autonomous kind of program right so let me log into my jetson uh, nano jetbot and i have already logged in i hope you guys can see my screen there you go so if you navigate through the jetbot folder go to notebooks and go to teleoperation so guys here one important thing you got to notice is teleoperate these are all just an example right the, the all this existing program the python code the scripts which is available uh, within your uh, jetbot uh, uh, you know the the image which you uh, install these are just examples so let me open up this right so you got to practice and learn and do lot of modification in the code in the python script so i did couple of modification for, uh, just to give you heads up if you run this exact example and try to use your uh, joystick this is just going to you know rotate the motor maybe one single motor will rotate because there is just x axis uh, value if you look at uh, this particular line of code only one motor is going to run and you might be confused oh my god this is not working and kind of thing no actually you got to write at least another 5 6 lines of code to turn your robot in different directions controlling through the joystick connected to the internet all right so i am going to show you how to do that and i am going to leave the link to my github repository below this video so you are go you can have access to the code which i had written and you may try to implement in your projects So let me just close this and go to my custom uh, project, Jetbot project, and I have tons of codes which I had written. So let me open up the joystick module and let me minimize this. All right. So what I did? So basically, there is a video which shows uh, a video from Nvidia which actually shows how to click an image, uh, start gathering data. of different positions of the road or even in or any obstacles using the joystick by showing the pointer and you can click so that's pretty easy to understand but what i did in addition i used the same code and i'm going to run this and i'm going to show you where exactly i did the modification so that you guys are aware how to turn the motors left right forward back and reduce the speed especially when you are using a wave share uh, kit the motors are of high torque and it just moves very fast and bangs so it's impossible to grab the frames and grab the pictures and start collecting the data so you got to modify your python code in such a way that it moves very smoothly including your steerings and stuff like that and i will show you how to do it so let me run this code first and we can go over one by one let me now open the live feed camera okay now let me create the game pad controller and my index is 0 so your index might be 1 or 2 so you got to check it out using this link which i showed you in the previous lessons how to check so just follow that let me just try uh, right now let's let's connect the widgets to the controller i am connecting it now let me let me just try to operate the controller and check if it is detecting oh my controller is off Okay looks like i need to change the battery but nevertheless all right looks like guys looks like uh, i have some problem with the battery i am going to replace the battery and come back to this video in the meantime i am just pausing this video for a second all right all right i just replaced the battery and i hope uh, this works so let me uh, check all right There you go the x axis and the y axis seems to be working now let's go on to the next step and here we are going to activate rest of the functions let me show you how and this is exactly the code which i modified if you look at these four lines of code so basically i added the forward turning motor left and motor right with certain values 
so that is how you try to modify your existing code and try to make different different motions you might add several other parameters as well right so just feel free i am just showing you a demo how to make it happen how to make it work display widgets is not working let me just check again now let me first go to collect the data let's stream the video and i can just right click and move this position to the right i can just drag it and position it here so that it's easy for us to you know okay now you can see the video stream from the jetbot uh, which is just right behind me uh, what we can do is let's also display the controller and this is again i modified this code little bit we got to do bunch of r and d guys it's not a straight forward thing now uh, i added the speed controller and the turn sensitive and the motor adjustment so basically i can reduce the speed to the lowest possible and also the turn sensitive i'll make it to literally you know 0.5 now let me just see if it works all right it works let me share the video here all right there you go if you can see the jetbot uh, behind me and the camera uh, which is being streamed on the browser so i can just reverse it i can turn it left i can turn it right as you can see the camera turns right the jetbot turns right and the arrow mark on the camera uh, on the browser if you can see the live video the arrow mark the blue and the green right when you see there that is the position you got to take the picture so that's what i'm trying to indicate here now you can turn the jetbot in all the directions forward backward left right you know any direction you can turn so what you got to do is guys let me uh, show you so whichever uh, uh, you know the if you if you are if you are planning to use this program for obstacle uh, avoidance uh, right or collision avoidance for say you can use the same method same program or if you are laying out a kind of road kind of thing or a line which you want your jetbot to follow this is exactly you are going to do you are going to collect at least 100 samples of each so for example let me turn it little bit say if i turn the bot like this you can just click an image where you know this green pointer the green circle is pointing towards the edge of the road all right either the left edge or on the right edge so that's that's what you are going to do and click save so like this you need to collect at least minimum i would say 100 to 150 uh, images so that's what is going to help uh, in in probably you know uh, training the best model all right guys i hope uh, you got a clear picture of uh, what i'm trying to explain just go ahead and use this code use my code uh, you can modify as you wish as you want you can add multiple more parameters and uh, you know uh, you can you can also add uh, you know, all these buttons all these different buttons of your joystick into the python code and do the modification so if you take a look at my code you will get an understanding how to make a progress further so you can turn in any directions you can take the picture pointing towards the green dot as you can see here the green circle that is what the picture you are going to uh, 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 grab the frame you got to keep clicking the save button uh for for example for collision avoidance you have to keep an object right in front and point this green button on that particular object and click an image so that is for that will be used for collision avoidance for line following or or a road following uh, the roads will have two different edges white edge or a black edge so you got to turn the bot in both the direction x axis and y axis like this and the green spot for example if i turn the jet bot towards left the camera will change the position so the green spot the green circle should be pointing towards the edge of the road and click an image and again turn the bot click an image turn the bot click an image that's how you are going to take multiple sets of data i would recommend at least minimum of 100 if you go beyond 100 that is fine but that's going to take a lot of time for you to train on the jetson nano gpu it will take at least about 45 minutes to an hour or so if you take 200 plus images 
I tried about 300 350 images around my house where I combined both uh, collision avoidance and the road following together and built a model so for example let me show you let me just open up my browser and uh, let me minimize this let me go in here so here uh, if you look at this particular uh, uh, program uh, which i made i tried to you know uh, uh, include the collision avoidance and the road following together and that worked pretty well i am going to come back to you in the next video and show you some more details how you can merge your collision avoidance and road following together and build your own uh, deep learning model and deploy into jetbot and make it work guys it, it's a really fantastic project it's a fantastic project i tried it it worked really well you need lot of patience you got to keep gathering the data keep training your model deploy it test it and again if doesn't if it doesn't work check which exact point your bot is not turning you know or it's it's just banging on the object take a picture of that again put it in your model and train it so that's how you build a solid autonomous bot with artificial intelligence all right guys i am going to come back soon in the probably in the upcoming next video uh, moving forward we will start installing uh, ross robot operating system and start working on that all right stay tuned guys have fun bye bye